Hey, in this video, I'll be talking about the Jeep Bluetooth speaker that you can buy from Mopar, either when you buy your Jeep or you can buy it aftermarket. And is it worth it? Because it's expensive. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Robert with Sherburn Outdoors. And today we're talking about the Jeep uh, Bluetooth wireless speaker. So when you buy your Jeep, this is actually one of the options. Now I bought my Jeep uh, during the pandemic and, uh, and it was fully loaded. I didn't have a lot of choices. It was the only one available within hundreds of miles. And, uh, and this came with it and it's, it, it's on the invoice and you couldn't have it removed. And I, I was a bit shocked. I don't think I really wanted it, but you know, it's been pretty cool. So let's just kind of talk about it a little bit. So this is the Jeep wireless speaker. Just get a good look. You know, it's pretty big, it's pretty beefy. There's not a lot of information out on it. It's a, uh, you know, it's made by Jeep. It's actually made by Alpine. It's pretty good. It's pretty beefy. One of the neat things is, is it actually uh, plugs into the Jeep itself. Why don't we take a look at that and then we'll kind of fire this up and look at all the features and parts of it. So Jeep has cleverly put this behind the seat here. So let's just pull down our passenger side rear seat. And this sits perfectly in this area right here. It's got a latching mechanism. We'll just pull that out and it pops right out and it sits here. And if we look down in here, you know, you got a locking mechanism, a latch, and then there's power right here as well that powers this unit up while the car's driving, you're not utilizing it. And it just, you know, and this comes out. All right, so let's kind of look at this and go through it. First of all, that is pretty cool. It actually sits away from everything. It can be powered. So there is some coolness to this particular one, but there's also, this thing's expensive and let's get into it. All right, if we look at this thing, it's, you know, it's pretty beefy. It's about eight inches long. It's about four inches high or so roughly. There's not a lot of specs out on this. You know, it's got the Jeep logo here on the top. It's got a power button. It's got the pause and play. It's got the Bluetooth connect. And then it's got a minus, a plus. Those will turn the volume up and down. And then it's also got a microphone. Um, and that's kind of it. Does the whole thing, if we turn it around the back, you know, it's got the lock piece that goes in and then it's got the power area. And then it does have this area right here where you can power it externally. It's got an aux in, which I don't know why you would need that anymore. It's got a reset capability. I do have to do that quite a bit, actually. I find it shuts down and I have to uh, just kind of reset it and resync it. It's got, a, it's got a power source here if you want to plug it in. And then it also does have a USB out if you want to power objects off of this. I don't use any of that stuff. I just leave it plugged into the car itself. This seems to be somewhat watertight. Again, I can't find any specs on this thing on what its capabilities are other than it's made by Alpine. But um, powering up is pretty simple. You just hit the power button. And it makes the great noise. And then... You know, we'll just fire it up here and let's say we'll listen to a little Post Malone. So it sounds great. You know, we can turn it down a little bit or we can do it off the phone. And we can pause. If we want to, we can you know, turn it back on. And if I get a call, it does have a microphone button. So as far as Bluetooth speakers go, I mean, this is... This is your basic stuff. I mean, any Bluetooth speaker you can buy for 20 bucks, it does the same stuff. So now let's talk pricing on this. So, all right, so this is coolness. It does fit in the back seat. You know, you saw me pull it out and it's very easy to go back there and just put it back in and lift the seat up and, and that works really well. So again, when you add it to the bill of materials, if you're buying it from Jeep and you're building up your Jeep, this is one of the line items. If it comes with it, you're stuck with it but uh, it is $445. Let me repeat that, $445. What the <laughs> That is crazy. I can buy this beautiful Bose one that's waterproof, sits around. It's like 150 bucks off Amazon. Why in the hell would I pay $445 for this other than the coolness and it says Jeep right there? Doesn't come in any other colors, doesn't do anything else, it's just black. It's a little bulky. It is awesome that it does sit behind the seat in the Gladiator and uh, it doesn't take up any room and it can power and it's always there available. I will say that part is pretty cool. I've run into a couple times where I had friends out and I did want to pull this out and listen or I'm in the middle of nowhere camping, pull this out, it's nice. Uh, so that part's pretty cool. Would I actually pay for this if it wasn't mandatory that I had to buy it with the Jeep when I did it? 
Hell no. That is crazy. This is just so expensive for so little value in my mind. Um, it, you can, by the way, if you go out and search the web and you want to buy it after, you can get this for about 300, 325 bucks, something like that. I, I searched around. That is still crazy expensive. That is just way, way, way too much. So in closing, would I buy this again? Hell no. This is crazy expensive. That's kind of my opinion on, on this uh, Jeep Bluetooth wireless speaker that uh that does nicely fit behind the seats in the mo and uh in the jeep gladiator so hey hey if you found any value in this please uh please click the the like button don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified when we got new content out i appreciate everybody's time have a great day mm.